Hi, this is Belinda, and welcome to Belinda's Bobbles, episode 11. I hope you're having a great day. It's actually about 10.40 in the evening for me, or 10.45 p.m. in the evening for me. It's been a busy day off, so I just wanted to jump in here, go ahead and get this recorded, and have a bit of fun with you guys, and also towards the end, I will be drawing for the first of the um, pattern prizes for the topping off, topping out Mal. <laughs> There's a lot of confusion, I know, uh, over the name of it, but since it's all being done on Ravelry, it really doesn't matter. Just find the chatter thread on Mouse's Makes for Mandy's um, chat, her chatter thread she has put together and the finished object threads. So, what have I been up to? Well, I've been up to growing the channel a bit. Thank you so much. We are actually over 300 um, subscribers, which is exciting for me. I haven't quite reached the one year mark and thank you very much for coming along. So welcome those of you who are new. Thank you for very much for sticking around. Those of you who have been with me for a while and I really appreciate all of you. Uh, anyone who hasn't been subscribing, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really does help me with growing the channel and helping YouTube know that people are watching. Likes, comments, all of that helps. And I really appreciate all of you coming back to listen to me ramble. So, what have I been up to? Let's see, January has been a month of ups and downs quite literally, especially with the weather. It has been as low as about 9, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And today, I think it was 70, 71 degrees Fahrenheit all in the course of one month. But what I have ended up with all these ups and downs, not only am I working on projects that um, I had started previous to this year, but I actually cast on some projects this month as well that are already done. So I have ended up with, let me look at my notes here. I have five finished objects. Three of those I cast on in the month of January and two are part of the topping out um, mount. So Right now, I think, uh, let me, t uh, I think it, there was about 60 some finished objects already in the topping out Mal's finished objects. So this adds two more. I think Mandy may have some because we're not putting ours in there. So we're around the 65 mark of things being finished already here in the month of January. And that is great. I am so excited for all of us. So, what did I get done? Starting off, um, I did a little video on the Make It Quick cowl. Here it is. I'm wearing it, sweating in it and all. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to have it on anyways. I love it. And I've been wearing it and using it. The, top, uh, the Make It Quick cowl is by Steph, Stephanie Lotvin. She did have a coupon on on it, but I think that's expired for when she first put it out. Sorry, that's why I put the information out earlier in the month. And this is a paid for pattern. What I used to make it, let me bring all my notes up here. I actually just went into my stash to make this. It doesn't take a lot of um, yarn. It is DK, and I used the Premier Yarns Anti-Pilling Everyday DK Merino Blend in mustard, which you can barely see it. Aha, here we go. In mustard. And also in teal. Down here at the bottom, there's actually a teal stripe. And the main color is also the anti-pilling everyday decay in the charcoal heather which is was left over from my um which my antique flora 
my first color work sweater. This was left over from the main color for it. And then the red here, which I really love it. As you can tell, I've got a top that matches it. This is Premier Yarns Wool Select in Brick. So these are all Premier Yarns, all fully washable, easy, uh, easy care and everything. So which is good because I've just been throwing it on, throwing it off and running around with it. And I still have so much of this yarn left. I'm probably going to do a few more of these. If there's anyone on here that's related to me, they may be seeing some of these for Christmas this year because it did work up really quick. It's got a lot of different little textures in it to make it interesting. And I had a lot of fun with it. So that is my first one. If I'm going a little fast today, uh, I want to, I've got a bunch of things to get through with you guys and I didn't want you to have to be with me all week. <laughs> You're welcome to if you want to, but I didn't figure you'd want to. Oh, by the way, uh, all the information on where you can find me is in the description box down below. So I'm not going to go through all of that with you right now, but I have several places that you can find me. And so come hunt me down, I guess. All right. So the next thing I have is one that I don't have with me. It is the Medley Mitts by Helen Stewart. And I'll put a um, picture up here. It is a paid for pattern from 2023's Christmas. And I had it from her knit vent from 2023. Let me go back up here. And I actually used uh, for the yarn. I'm, hopefully I have the picture up here now. For the yarn is the Premier Yarns Wool Select in Brick, which was this same one. And I made these fingerless gloves whenever we were starting to get so, so cold for a coworker, which is why I don't have them because I've already passed them over to her. And this was something I got it done in just a couple of days. So again, a really quick, that's been my theme for January. It seems is a lot of really quick knits as well as finishing some stuff. Okay, so that was another one that I got done. And I'm missing one of my things. I'll have to go get it in a minute. Okay, so anyways. The other one that um, I cast on this month is the Snow Song Sweater, which is 227-25 with drops. Okay, the color doesn't show, show it justice here, but this is so, so fuzzy. You can see how fuzzy that is. I'll put a picture up here of me wearing it outside in the sun so you can really see the color. And I did this in seven days. Well, basically eight because it was from Sunday to Sunday. Can you believe that? I'm a slow knitter and I got all this done and I love, love, love. I picked the yarn up on um, sale at On The Lamb for, sun, for a Sunday um, when I went over there. And it's the Mirasol Tapiche in Robin's Egg. I got four skeins figuring I would need four to make a sweater. Ooh. I got it made with three skeins in extra large size here and still have a full skein and a little bit more left over. I probably have maybe about three or four ounces or not ounces, but three or four grams left besides this. This I've talked about it's light, fluffy to me. It's like touching a tribble. <laughs> If only it would grow. <laughs> this did grow a bit whenever I, um, but it fits me just the way I wanted it to. But this is a super bulky number six yarn. And it's 36% alpaca, 23% baby alpaca, 24% merino wool, and 17% micro tweed component. It actually does have a, 
a few little tweeds. I don't know if you can see that in there. Uh, trying to find some of it maybe there. But there is some tweed in there. Ah, maybe in that area. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. <laughs> but it has a little bit of tweed in it. Oh, I still just fluff it. Putting it on, it, um, it was made, let's see, what? I think it was a US 15 was the needle. And so it it is big needle wise. But oh, I could wear this all day, every day, if only after I cast it off and got it all ready to wear, it wasn't 70 degrees outside. There's just no way I could keep alpaca on longer than for the picture. Okay, so that's also part of my confessions because I did pick it up. <laughs> but this was also on for half price. <laughs> I love those sales. Okay, so those were my three items that I actually cast on in January and finished in January. Now for the topping out Mel, I have two finished objects. One is my, what I called my autumn summer secret crop. It's by Jesse Made Designs. It's a free pattern. This is my second one I've made. I made this with Hank Me Home Tonight's Stripey Merino. I think it's, is this, I think this one's 100% Merino. Let me take a look with my brain here. The Hank Me Home Tonight Stripey DK. I think it's 100% merino from what I'm remembering, and it definitely feels like it. I used two skeins, and I didn't do any management on it. I just went with it, and the color is Rainbow Road. Now, I did go up a bit higher than I should have, and the next one I won't go as high, and I am making the straps wider. There's the back. It may be a little stretched out at the moment because I have been wearing it. <laughs> I could not wait for a podcast before starting to wear it. I'm seeing a little something I need to tack down there. Okay. But it is so comfy. And I am going to be making more of these because I can wear these underneath my smock at work. Um for something comfortable and still feel like I'm getting to wear something that I've made because otherwise it's only on my days off that I get to do that. All right, so excuse me just one second and I'm going to go get my other item. Okay, I'm back. I can't believe, well, this was already put away. I've been wearing it a lot too. And so <laughs> I've been wearing a lot of my knit stuff this month, especially with it being cooler. <laughs> And this is my Stormy Skies. Top by Lauren Willis. It is a crocheted top. See it all the way down to the bottom there. And this was done as my advent. I used the Charming UDK sock with her advent from this last year which I do have shorts of me opening up each day. If you have not seen those and want to go back, there's even a playlist. So you can sit there and in 24 minutes, you're done with my advent. Now, well, maybe 30. I think I did a longer one in there too <laughs> at the end. But here I have, so yeah, it's just with it being the DK sock, We've got all these different colors and some different patterns along the way, including some baubles. You know, Belinda's baubles, I needed baubles, right? <laughs> so these are some crocheted baubles, and I'm also going to be doing some knit baubles. But this is so comfortable, and I love how it worked up. I had a few times that my brain wasn't working really well with the pattern, and it was just, it was me. It was me and my menopause brain. 
but I wore this, I've worn it over a long sleeve tank. I'll be able to wear it or a long sleeve um, turtleneck. I've also worn it a few, uh, you know, I can wear it other times as well as far as with just a tank top underneath and it'll go great. This is a paid for pattern, but something I really, really liked about this is um, Lauren, who she was really gracious whenever I had a stupid question and got back to me when she got back from vacation. And I really do appreciate that. But um, not only is this in US terms, but it's also in UK terms. So if you are crocheting, you get both patterns. And so it doesn't matter if you go by UK or more comfortable UK terms or US terms, you get both. And that really was appreciated by me since she is a UK designer. She's got some other gorgeous things too, so you might want to check her out. And the links for all of these are down in the description. So those were my two finished objects for the topping out Mal. So believe it or not, I don't know that I, only other time I've had five finished objects was with some sewn skirts in there, but never crocheted and knit items have I had five finished objects, I don't think, in any of the episodes so far. So I'm a little happy. <laughs> okay, so they were also pretty much my new construction. <laughs> new construction and finished objects all in one. But I still have one more thing. I know, I know, I'm doing this um, make along where we're finishing things off. Excuse me a second. Uh, we're finishing things off. And what am I doing? I am casting new things on also. But... I'm still lowering my number of um, <laughs> in the works items. So what do I have here? This is a sock head. Uh, what is it called? Bear with me. A sock head slouch hat. I've made one before for myself and I really loved it. This one is being made um, for a um, family member who is not well and so I wanted to just go ahead and work on this because it seems this is something comfy to me. I'm three inches up in the rib and this is a free pattern by the way. It's by Kelly McClure and I love mine. It's just comfy comfy but I do make mine differently. I think it calls for a much smaller uh, needle and I am using a 3.75 because here in Texas I don't want it to be a real tight um, knit and I like how that's working out so right now I just have the rib going and it is a twisted rib that I'm using just because I like the look of it and it's Heritage Sock. I'm thinking it's just called Orange. But to me, it's kind of a burnt orange. But it is Heritage Sock. So that is my only new construction. Well, that section went by real fast. Now let's talk, let's talk in the works. And all of my in the works items are part of the uh, topping out mound. I have quite a few top um, projects, but I'm just going to talk about a couple of them here that I actually did some work on. In my last episode, I did say I was going to finish the seven shrug. Have you noticed it wasn't in the list up top? I have gotten a little bit done. Very little. I got it soaked and dried. 
So this is the seven shrug. Let's see if you can see it pretty good there. It is by Claire Wilson. It's a free pattern. It's a crochet pattern. And what I have left to do now that I've soaked it and stretched it out as good as I can is I need to put them together and put the edging on. And that's it. I may still get it done this month. This yarn, oh shoot, my mind has gone blank on it. It matches up with the first summer secret crop I did by Jessie Made Designs. And I wanted something to kind of go over my shoulders whenever I'm wearing that. And I figured, you know, since I am a knitter and a crocheter, why not have something crocheted to go along with my knit top? But the yarn, uh, it's here somewhere. It is here. Oh, I know what's going on. <laughs> Even though I took it out and started working on it and found the rest of it, I think it's still down here. Uh-huh. It's still down here with the little Z's attached to it. Claiming that I have it hibernating. It's not hibernating anymore. <laughs> okay, so. I didn't write down my yarns on here. This is what happens. Well, this is what happens anyways, but it's definitely what's happening because I'm throwing this together at the end of the evening even though you probably won't see it still for another day or two. Okay, so Queensland Collection Brighton Beach Mandarin Dragonette and this is a linen and cotton blend. Now I have another linen and cotton yarn that I have held with this. Well, see that this would have helped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is one of them, and this is what I actually used in the sevens or in the um, secret summer crop. But I needed it to be a little bit thicker, and in stash I had. I had another, um, I did not clean this project bag out before I put something else in it. And see, is this it? Ah, yes. I had something else in my stash, so I used a Barocco Isola, which is um, cotton linen and viscose. And this is color 8940. And it's a little bit darker of a blue. And you can kind of see it coming through in places. Whereas this at the very bottom, this stripe is just the Queensland Brighton Beach. So it just kind of comes, it'll come through a little bit. And I'm hoping it'll match up nicely. So that's what I have gotten done on it. So maybe, just maybe, by the end of this month, it will still be done. Then, the litmus cowl, which was my cast on for... I just looked at my camera and thought it hadn't been recording all this time, but it has been. <laughs> Talk about give yourself a headache or a heart attack there. <laughs> but the Litmus Cow by Amy Florence Edwards Green. I'm doing a version of it 
and it was my Christmas in July for 2023, <laughs> which has become part of the topping out now now. <laughs> Because I did not get it done. But I am getting a lot, getting more of it done. Okay. So, <laughs> in July, I got about that much done. <laughs> so, I am going through. It's mainly pinks and greens. And so, it's coming up through the greens. And I've just cast on my last green. All of the colored stripes or the multicolored stripes. These are all part of a Charming You. Um, let's see which one was it? It was from her Halloween, like um, little um, a Halloween deal that she did either last year, I think it was the year before actually. Yeah, it would have been the year before. So it was done in 2022. And Trying to think of the name of it. I I have always have trouble saying this. No Mester Minis. No Mester Minis. So from here, it's going to be going into a purple and then into some pinks. The gray stripe, this is smoked pearl colorway of Cascade Heritage Sock. As you can tell, maybe Heritage Sock is kind of a go, um, a go-to yarn for me, whenever I just want something thrown in. But what I did differently on here, if you notice, it's a bit wider than the litmus cow normally is. Is I actually cast on 150 stitches instead of 100, and I I think I went up in my needle size. All the information is on my Ravelry um, page for this but I do it this way it's not going to be as long because I wear it actually as a shawl I've got one other of these that I made that way and it is I wear it more than anything else that I have made over the course of the fall winter and um, spring so I wanted another one for that reason let me put this away as you can tell, I'm kind of moving along with, <laughs> still have my Halloween there to go with my Christmas bag. And this was just a dodgy bag. So that had my items in it. And the bag that had my seven shrug in it. This is a bag that my stepmom Donna made me for my birthday a couple of years ago. So, all right. So the litmus cowl, the seven shrug, all right, my unicorn vomit socks. Yes, you heard that right if you're new here. This is just a uh, vanilla sock that I'm doing. And I've got one done. I know I should have my blockers up here and I don't and I decided to just go through with the same color all the way through and I have cast on the cuff if you can see for the other one and yeah I'm still using my little Christmas gnomes they're just too cute not to and this is just for me to carry it around I use these counters for me they're baseball run counters but I use them to know where, what row I'm on and everything. And what I'm doing is a twisted, uh, twisted rib going down into a one of Kay Jones with the Bakery Bears. I use her uh, butterfly heel and umbrella toe. Those are my favorites whenever I'm doing a vanilla sock. That I've gotten off one of her other patterns and I'm not doing it real tight just because it's more comfortable for me but I have gotten a little bit more done so it's getting there so I've gotten that worked on and then the last one I'm going to show you guys tonight
again this is one of my dodgy dodgy bags that I made is the silver bells sweater by 10 can knits I've gotten a little further along on it not very far but I did get some done I think before I wasn't quite done with the rib and it has it's got a um, folded over rib and it goes down into some bobbles so I've gotten my first row of bobbles done <laughs> And it, this is just such, I'm loving this yarn. Uh, this is Nomad yarn in eggshell that I am holding. With Mirasol's Inca. And this is 64, look at that shine, 64% viscose. 36% baby alpaca and it's a super fine and just holding it together I'm getting this and it feels so soft from this and the color is carnelian so I've gotten a little bit done this is by the way that is a paid for pattern um, I did get it as part of, um, they have a new app that um, I've signed up for. And so I got this pattern as part of um, being part of that. So I actually, I paid for it, but I didn't pay for it type deal. Okay, so that is my finished objects including my topping out malfinished objects, new construction in the works. And now I do have some confessions. Just a little bit. I haven't been super bad about, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to knock you there. Um, I haven't been super bad about buying yarn. I've been, you know, as far as the yarn I've, Gotten has gone straight in. I am trying to really work from my stash as much as possible and then add um, just some ex accessorize a little bit from it. I do know that I will be buying some items whenever it comes to yarn crawl because that's coming the end of April. And that's also going to be around yarn crawl is actually going to be over um, going on during my first anniversary for the podcast. So that's coming up. But over here, you may see my little pile. I'll just bring over one of each. There's actually four or five of each in, over here. <laughs> but this is Aqua Upcycled Marine Plastic. It's by Katia. Um, and it is 50, excuse me with the glasses here, need to get a little closer, little tiny, tiny, it's 50% cotton and 50% polyester, but the polyester is coming from marine plastic, so plastic bottles and plastic that comes out of the ocean and it is really soft it's really it, it'll be good for clothing and i'm figuring on turning some of this into some of the uh, summer secret crops i have here three colors Let's see what the color names are Oh yeah, real exciting color names. Color 58. <laughs> so this is kind of a, a brick red and white twist. 
This one is color 55. And this is a navy blue and white. Oh, where is it? Okay, that's the navy blue and white. Navy, I, I thought I grabbed a different one. Okay. And this is color 54. This is a black and white. And what kind of happened? Is these were on the 70% off table. Oh, they do smell good. <laughs> so I'm ending up with these being some $10 tank tops <laughs> that will be one of a kind, just mine, <laughs> unless anyone else does it too. But that, other than, okay. So all the yarn that I did pick up this month <laughs> has either been pretty much used I do need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I'm thinking, I don't know, either a cowl or a hat or something to go with it. But, and then my new tank tops that are a tank top kit. At least that's what I'm saying. So those are all my confessions. So what do I have next? I have the drawing for the first pattern and I did that before I recorded this episode so I'm going to cut in here with the drawing. Okay so right now I wanted to do the prize drawing for the topping out mal some of, or topping off mal whichever one you want to call it. Um, in Ravelry as of right now it, at this moment, it is January 29th, 2024 at 10.44 p.m. in Fort Worth, Texas. And there are 93 entries. So for the um, just the monthly pri um, prize pattern, I'm going to do a random number picker. And I have taken out the first one because that was Mandy explaining it. And so this is just 2 through 94. If it happens to fall on one of mine or Mandy's comments, it will, I will automatically drop it down to the next comment. So let's see who's going to be the winner. Let's see here. Number three. I'll put the information down below. If you could please get in touch with Mandy at Mouses Makes, I will put the Gmail account down right here. It and make sure you do get the S's in it. Mouses Makes, both with an S on the end, at gmail.com and let Mandy know what pattern you would like from Ravelry. You get to choose the pattern up to a $10 maximum amount, um, as far as $10 US maximum amount, and she will get that over to you. So just give her a message or send her an email with that information. Congratulations. And now back to the rest of the video or the rest of the vlog. Welcome back. Congratulations again to the winner, and I am so excited that we are continuing on with the Topping Out Mal. If you're not familiar with it, I have a link down below with all the information for the Mal. It is a knitting and crochet um, Mal, and you just have to have started the project prior to January 1st, 2024. 
You don't have to finish it during this time. These pattern drawings monthly are for the chatter thread. It's only the um, at the end of the pro or at the end of the make along, which will be March 31st. Those items um, for that drawing, which will be several prizes, that will be something that um, is for finished objects. But to participate, you don't have to complete anything. It's totally up to you, and you don't have to over, you know, stress yourself into having several things. I just happen to have several things. Mandy has several things, so it seemed like a good idea for us, so we are inviting you to join in with us. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all of the regular items. Uh, all that I can think of as far as a little bit of what's going on here at home. We're heading out to Missouri to see the grandkids uh, in just a week. So Sam and I are going to be um, driving on up. We've had some car issues. The car is working now. Hopefully it will get us up there without any other issues. Um, I'm recording this so late at night because I've been working on laundry pretty much all day. Our washing machine died about a week ago or it won't drain. Uh, Sam and Seaver have been working on it for the past week and we finally had to say we need a, a professional in. So they don't come in till this coming Friday. So <laughs> I had to make it out to the laundry mat and then I've spent the uh, most of the day other than some time with them lunch with friends. We've, I've spent with um, the washing machine and since the weather's so nice, filling up the line in the backyard. <laughs> so there was my day. So it made it to where I didn't get to recording until late at night. But I hope you guys are okay with all of that. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down below, comment send me a message. I'm here. I love to hear from you and I love having comments um, and getting a chance to talk with you guys. It, this is a community from all of you and it gives me a chance to talk to you and just share a little bit. One question for you as far as all of you. Would y'all like for me to do a flash your stash type video? We may have to do it quietly Sam watches these videos <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's kind of scary to me. Is it scary to you guys for your husbands or your um, other halves to deep dive into your stash? But like so many others, I am trying to work as much as I can from my stash while still supporting our local yarn shops and <laughs> Just maybe not as much this year. I'm sorry, Heather. <laughs> but it's just, I do need to rotate some of this out. I have quite a few yarns that I still haven't started making a project with or anything that I got in last year's yarn crawl. So I need to really move those along. I did a Make 9 video as well. And so some of those are um, patterns that I'm going to be using things from my stash. I'm also creating my own um, minis advent for this coming year uh, from stash. So I'm rotating some of my stash that way. So let's see what, what are you guys doing? Are y'all shopping, working from stash? What's going on in your lives? All right. Well, I better get going. It's time for me to go to bed and I need to upload this a little bit onto my um, memory card so that I can um, do some editing tomorrow. Again, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.